Esque. It is going to come down to Guardian Rain. These two did very little on training. It's certainly not the stars they were, and the last time they succeeded was off the back of those two, especially versus this opponent. G2 then 1-0 up, Henry, and we've got ourselves a pistol. We absolutely have a classic setup here from FaZe. A lot of T-sides and Dust2 want to focus towards long. The double smoke setup to allow you to cross, usually at the P250 or Nico. And my God, does he hit that shot on the A-bomb side. That's what they want to set him up for. He's the spearhead of this operation so far. Long control granted. That's pretty standard for a CD pistol, but this is where it matters. Lucky's right back on the bomb site here, and they're going to try and set Nico up to take him down. It's an incredibly difficult shot and we'll see if he's capable of hitting it. But this, oh, okay, they're doing a variation. They usually do commit towards long, double smoke the crossover. There might be a faker. So Rain's setting up for a smoke. So Rain's got the bomb and he's being left at blue bin right now. So they are mixing things up here. Different callers we made. Guardian, all of my towards B. They have got one of the smokes, I assume. So we have Guardian, all of my over there. No position. Look at Shox's position. They've got this worked out. And the info's there. The shot is there. That's hard. Long range, back turn, one tap is all it takes from Shoxy. I was trying to work. If they had one of the smokes of them there, they could have done the dribble smoke towards B. That could have been enough. Um, but for now, Rain's going to smoke CT spawn from the long position. They've lost a player. Whatever they had in mind, shut down. They, they've lost a massive advantage here. The long control with the utility they had, the double swing on the crossover, that's enough to win a round. Nothing too fancy required. This shot needs to land, though. Nico can't quite get it just that's yet. That's a very hard shot to hit. If anyone would do it, it's Nico. He already did tag up Lucky through the box. They've closed the gap. Kenny, he's looking to seal the deal, and he does. What is this? What was that? Kenny, one flash from Amanek and three clicks of his mouse. He's got himself three. It's overthinking things there, FaZe. I'm sorry. That was th th You could see the long take with the, the smokes and crossovers. They've done it so many times. A lot of teams do it. Maybe they feel like that's too telegraphed. It's too sure. obvious. But you've given up all the map control there. If you've not got anyone towards B at the start of a round, within 20 seconds, you, you can't really justify going back. You have zero information as to whether they've pushed or not. You do have to push. You have to commit. You have five players in one position. Real bad call from FaZe there, I'm afraid. And they pay the price. G2 reacting well to Dust2, getting the B-tunnel control, and uh, they went out the round of a great flash towards Long. Too much intel gathered. Yeah, Shox's is shot as well. I mean, sure, it would have been difficult, but the fact they lost Guardian on the way back yep. really ham hamstrung any sort of uh, adjustments. Just the Glocks then. And the Glock train looks like it's going to be pulling in towards the A station. Like he's there, and you see the damage already inflicted from that nade. Yeah, so this is just uh, a little gambit to get the bomb Bit of a run boost, shorts. perhaps? Yeah, you can do that. It's the best way to get it down, but Lucky, he knows he's under no real threat. He doesn't have to commit for all the frags here to stop the bomb going down. That's when he'll swing. He does not want to let that go down. So here comes the swing now, pays the price for it. Actually getting a little bit awkward uh -oh. here. These clocks are working out, Alex. I have no idea how. They had nothing, not a single penny spent. Bomb down, three members of G2 down, and now Amanek and Shocks. They're feeling a bit hot under the collar, a bit hot and bothered, that's for sure. They've got to save this round. This is exactly how Train went down. FaZe win with even less than they did the first time. Olaf, I don't know if he got that info. Shox does, definitely did. He does start to hold the angle. He's got someone pushing him from long as well. The info's there. They know where both of them are. They can pick. Rain's got it. And I think that's enough. FaZe Clan, they managed to make a Glock round work. Hard for me to comprehend, Henry. That's why I've got you. They didn't invest anything. You're right. They got $1,900 for losing the previous yeah. round, right? No bomb planted there. Clean round from G2. They had Glocks and I, I think a flashbang at the very top end. They go for an A split there. We did. I was like considering the next round. I was already kind of working sure, out the maps sure. at the next round, work, seeing what was going on. Somehow, some way, there's trades with Glocks, and we've talked about oh. the snowball effect before. I need to see some replays to see how the jewels went down. Yeah. Something has gone wrong in the G2 camp there. Shock's trying to hold it together. You can see it, how frustrated he looks right now. That should not be happening. And a series they can 2-0 here, a map they play. They've won the pistol, and they've given that up for free. That was truly a freebie. And FaZe... They managed to make it count. Now they're all fully bought up. Coming into round three, it's map two. This is a quarterfinal. Both teams have been able to been rising from the ashes. Neo, of course, joining FaZe Clan, taking the leadership role. It's an interesting story. So it's shocks getting flashed just as they appear. Lucky's Deagle does connect, but FaZe, they maintain the advantage. 
and the bomb lose for now, but it's on long with the majority of their players. They're leaving Nico this time responsible for the B tons. Typically, as this round progresses into the defaults, expect all off there. We just got a really interesting stat through. Um, that 4K towards long with the flash assist from Amanek yeah. there, he got four flash assists. On the entirety of train, G2 had four flash assists in total. So oh, that one wow. round in total, that just showed you that that was <laughs> the godlike flash thrown, right? That was the absolute like, best thing it would possibly be. And that was really cool. And uh, we'll see ourselves now in a four versus three. Remember, there's no four spy. And uh, this is just Eagles. You're not expected to win this round, no. but it did, it's still a significant investment. They won't have enough to really buy into the next one. That is interesting. Flash assist. I'm glad that we're getting more attention drawn to it. Gives us more ways to talk about that. The supportive uh, actions you can take in Counter-Strike. Nico, he's getting his Molotov towards back. Platt, he's got two, maybe, excuse me, three CTs pulled over. He's got the entire gamble from G2, but it's all an act. He's been going to acting school. It's uh, it's big in uh, Bosnia. And he's going to have all the info. He's probably going to get all the frags as well. Wouldn't be surprised if he starts to turn tail and starts to catch them off guard through mid. Or even back up through tons. Just going to hold on to whatever they can here. Look at some exit kills, but FaZe Clan probably can't believe their luck at this point. He lose the pistol in such a convincing manner. Somehow win with Glocks in the second round. Um, sure, yeah. I, I really do want to get a, a replay package together if we can of that, of those frags and how they went down. So it's orgs and SMGs. I, I really have no idea what happened. Um, but it will be CZ's Deagles to be saved, no armor. And remember, sure, they're going to get $1,900 per player next round. And they didn't force here, but still won't be enough as Nico just farms all the cash. He's got himself 5K before the round's even over. He's going to get 35 on top of that. So just knocking the door at 9,000 bucks. Olaf Meister will find the final kill. And they've got all the money in the world. G2, quite the opposite. Keep your eyes on Olaf Meister. He's got the long spawn. He looks like he's ready to take it as well. Unless there's any HE grenades purchased by G2, he should be absolutely fine. It's quite a common approach smoke middle four nays long uh, but i don't think they can really justify that right now we'll see yeah g2 want to get back into this game fully bought up as soon as possible and so i mean it's exactly the same on the other side not a single penny spent just the usps as they gather in mid doors and rain well actually tagging up lucky through it not going to be holding on to that for too long and the cts they're hoping to catch one it's like a 1v5 at the moment for nico and he sprays down 1200 dollars in the bank a smoke to bait and a desert eagle to finish the job. Lovely work from Nico. Really nice work. That's great. Just no awkwardness, no losing in a UMP and his teammates getting caught out. It's just done. He is the animal of Dust2 as well. You let him out of the cage, you let him off that leash, he's going to cause damage. It is a scary prospect. The fact we're going to round number five, he's six and one. It means he's confident. He's hitting his shots, which he was on train as well. 172 ADR very early on. But yeah. I mean, it's an eco it bash. The scene. It certainly sets the scene. Let's see how they want to approach this one. We do now get the orps in play. And I say orps, it is plural. Two, Amanek, Kenny S for the CTs. And Amanek will kick things off in style. He's on the B side of the map, taking down Olaf Meister quickly. And Amanek does fantastic work and does two of the secondary orb. He'll be holding the B side primarily. And it looks like FaZe wants to answer back in a pretty quick fashion here. Towards Shaw, actually going to be flashing through, trying to beat Kenny S, but you've got to wake up pretty early in the morning to take him down. It's rain that's dropped just as he gets out of the smoke. He's got full vision of this one. The Molly will obscure it just a little bit. A flash over. He wants to try and get Jax across. It's a brave move. FaZe haven't quite got the sight attack from Kenny. FaZe, they have to pay the gatekeeper of the A site, it seems. Pay in blood, play in bodies. Jax pushing in now. Guardian close quarters. He's only going to get the one before Lucky's there, but Neo's making a bit of a game of this. Nico, he's got nothing left. Just two points of health. The round continues. So does Kenny, and this should be it. Nico, two HP and three to find. Lucky converts it. Huge hold from them, from the long side. And that's going to be G2 finding two. So we did have this matchup back in Dallas a couple of weeks ago. It went all the way. I think it was triple overtime. It was Kenny S versus Guardian. That's in the battle. Really, it was history. It felt like it was so nostalgic. It yeah, was like historic. It felt 2015 levels. It was like everyone hitting their shots. Close range, one on one clutches between those two guys as well. Kenny coming on the top of the clutches. Guardian getting most of the mid round picks. It was so great to watch. And I hope we get to that position. I like the G2 win that round just because I want this to be a really close game. After losing to Glock, so I was worried that they might 
trip up here and give up too many rounds on their CT side, but they've got right back in it. Still running the double orb setup. Everyone fully equipped now as Guardian going for that classic long take. Players there, takes the incendiary, will stay for a few seconds to see what's available to him, and it can cost you a lot of HP. Nico's gone down. Guardian's low, but Rain can get two here. Oh, he can get more than that. Look at that. Just lines him up, shocks an Amanek. Oh, Kenny's no. in trouble. He missed it. Uncharacteristic from Kenny. Now the site's lost. Perhaps even the round, he's forced to fall back. It is a 3v3. Guardian does extend the lead for FaZe Clan. They've got the B site, and they should have the round. Wow. Quick lineup from Rain. We said he had to step up. We said that he was certainly a win condition for FaZe Clan. Absolutely silent on train. That is massive. Opening kill as well for G2. Amanek. Kenny, yes, both finding frags, but that all-important miss from Kenny, as you said, uncharacteristic. That's a shot you expect him to hit all day long. Pretty standard. Hit the shot, full back, call for rotations. If he gets it, there's a very good chance to retake that. The yep. fact he didn't, he falls back. Guardian, smart position. Low HP, holding middle for any transitioning players. He gets the better of him, and they will save. At least an org and an AWP, but loss bonus certainly not going to be in the strongest of position. I think they'll be getting $2,400 per player at this point, as we will move on to round number six, actually $1,900. So, Kenny S with $4,100. He can be dropped the orb by a lucky. I'm sure that's what's going to happen. And this is the sort of round, Alex, we, we had these on train. When you're, you're low like this, uh, you're back to the wall, you don't have all your utility, you might want to go for a boost towards Sean. You might pick middle, might not necessarily oh. towards T-spawn, but you want Kenny to be a little bit more active this round. I want to see him try and go for the first pick. Guardian was just so ready for Kenny there. So the lead extended for phase. The buy is awkward, as you've already covered. Shox is going to put that UMP exactly where it does its best work, close to the doors. He won't have any company just yet because we're in the Nico fast up short. Kenny's the one to try and take this fight. Oh, and the smoke. He tries to fire a wild shot, but look what it's cost him. He tells them he's there, and they greet him with 80 points of damage. Nico does catch the HE, though. We'll be running around with 55 from now on. Could this be the mid to B? Could well be. Nico, so well known for this position. Guardian, just behind the wolf pack. They've got AK-47s. They smoke off spawn. They molotov the boosted position as well to make sure there's no players waiting. But Guardian uh, and shocks it. Push through with the UMP. What the hell? He's going for four kills here. The USP could be enough. That is absolutely magnificent what? from Shoxy. And now we've got Olaf Meister left in a compromised oh, position. Wow. It's the ace. I can't believe it. It's the UMP, Alex, of all the weapons coming through the smoke. We did say the chance of the mid split there, but I didn't expect it to be cracked wide open by the UMP of Shox. If Shox respects that smoke, they're in that site. Amanek gets one. The bomb's down. That's a save or that's an awkward retake. Shox knows it. He charges through that smoke. He had one kill coming into this what? round. He takes five more. Guardian, I love the movement from Shox. He knows it's an awkward shot for Guardian with the York close quarters. Keeps moving, switches to the sidearm and gets the ace. Kenny, he continues to run with that momentum and already nico has gone. Rain, he wants to try and trade off his teammate, but there's flashes and smoke stopping him. He's going to have to slow down. It's not his choice anymore, and they do start to gather in long. How quickly will G2 get the info that the majority, if not sorry, all of FaZe Clan have invested into one side of the map? Oh, this game just got extra, extra spicy at this point. Five on four, Kenny S with the opening kill here, and an ace from Shoxi with an SMG against a fully equipped FaZe Clan. That's going to rattle them. I'm surprised he didn't take a timeout after that one. Oh, spots him jumping. Guardian almost has the time to hit the shot. It's going to be Kenny that's waiting on the A side here. Oh, it does too. Kenny, Guardian, what a what a delectable Counter-Strike treat. Hang on, Rain. You got a double against these two before when they pushed up in your domain, but this is going to be a tough one. They know where he's coming from. Shock's holding the close angle. Is Rain ready for it? He's firing off the warning shots. He's certainly not. Now he is. And so that sends the CTs packing. That's a lot achieved by Rain. That, that's enough, though. Like, if they give up one kill there, they've lost their advantage, right? They've got a five on four already. If it does go down, they lose a player. They've, they've lost that great work Kenny did at the start of the round. Oh, and on the cross, Jax, he's holding a tight line. He gets two out of it. The orgs from G2 are working oh so well. This should be the equalizer. Rain just going to try and catch one, but from behind, Shox strikes. They met earlier, but Shox wanted to make sure they could finish that conversation. They do so by double doors. So, four to four. And Lost Bone is starting to get there, but we haven't had plans for a while. It's going to be FaZe Clan 
And we'll have the option now to buy with a couple of rifles and pistols or just take a bit of a partial here. Looks like it's going to be the latter with Rain and Guardian with Desert Eagle so far. Here's the replay of Jackson. You can see no smokes on the cross there, Alex. And way too easy. You run out of resources. You're going to have to go over. Hope for the best there. But really didn't work out for them. And it's the T side of phase that they have a very good dust too in general. It's down to more individual greatness, I feel. I feel like their the execution potential isn't quite as high as other teams. Sure. Um, but their CT side is a brick wall. That's where they really have their, their strength. So they're, they're looking to get like maybe six or seven rounds would be perfect. And uh, so far, so good in that respect. But they're heading towards B on this eco. And Amanek, Dribble Smoke comes through. He has got a strong weapon as they wait for any bullets to come through and grenades more importantly. This is such the default response. You see yeah. Dribble Smoke and there's a gap. Shocks is going to be looking to exploit it. Olof, he plays this exact position. He should be expecting it. He wasn't. And now through the smoke, they do jump out. Amanek supporting a very flash shocks. Neo, that landed perfectly. But Amanek, could he have done enough? Neo's making the pistol work. They have the sight, but I'm not sure they're going to be allowed to get that bomb down. You can justify pushing through if you're lucky right now. You know, one of these players is out of the round. He has to plan for four seconds. So that was absolutely fine. The Nice uh -oh. is still a chance to win it. Guardian gets to Dingle Kenny. He's going! Oh, 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 oh. He almost had it, Alex. He oh, had Kenny on one God. XP. If he shoots the other player, First, it could have been enough. That was a strong attempt there from Guardian, and it would have turned the game on its head. Oh my God, it couldn't have been closer. It was so perfect. They, I mean, FaZe Clan walking to B with pistols and, and overcome it, that's FaZe Clan all over. G2, they're smart enough to know that when that bomb goes down, the afterplant gets awkward. If you give them any time to breathe, any time to set up, any time to surprise, Lucky pushed in, and Guardian's so close. My God, aggressive towards Long. He had a choice, forward or backwards. He opts for the more aggressive option of the two, but that's going to make things very dangerous. Jax, he's doing the flashbang dance and Guardian crashes the party. But Lucky has got to that position. Equal trade for now, but that's what I'm talking about. Whoa. They won't suspect Whoa, him to another. be there. It works out perfectly. The old bait and switch. Can he find the third? Not quite. They maintain the three versus two, and it's Nico and Olaf Meister on dust two to try and bring this round back. And look at the position of the Swede. He's got himself up short here. They have no idea, Alex. He can catch them. Nico, the fact that he's got Kenny, that's going to be shocked now. Just tunneling, barreling towards long from behind. Olaf can strike if he wants to. Doesn't need to. Nico. No scope necessary. He's on three. Amanex wild and wild away. He's not going to be able to close that gap. That bomb will go down. A nice little throw from Nico. A strong arm there. Yeah, that, that is round Amanek. To be fair, they haven't planted yet. He was in all the way towards B. I didn't think he might even give this a go, but I guess so. It might even be worth checking long, see if there's a mistake made. But uh, at this stage, it looks to be exit frags. Yeah. I'll have a look at the cash overall. They have won three rounds in a row. Uh, it's still pretty good. So they're going to have Lucky uh, Jack to 10K between them. Kenny S with 5,000 as well. Amanek did save his orc. So that's absolutely fine. Uh, but what an effort from Nico. You've got, you've got to respect that. That's, that's something that's uh, pretty special there. Uh, I mean, Guardian, he did commit so aggressively to find the opener on long. That was his responsibility. Goes all the way to Bluebin to start that one off. And then Nico, with the AWP of his own, finds three. That's the round over. And so, FaZe Clan keeping things level. I mean, I expected nothing less. It's just been back and forth affair. Bursts of three rounds for each side. Kenny S even saying, nice shot. Yeah, you got to. When Kenny you, you is acknowledging your all thing, <laughs> you know you're doing something right. Yeah, he, he can keep up with the best of them. Of known course. As an all star player, and I think to be at that all star level, like your Simples, your Nikos, your Cold Zera, you have to be able to use the the rifles and the AWP at a world class level. That's how you get star potential, right? We've got plenty of riflers out there. They can do similar things to some of these guys, but you have to be the full package, I think. And yep. we've just seen that from Nico just there. Just like you, Henry. Yeah, exactly. You're the full package. That's the comparison I wanted to bring in, but yeah. I didn't have enough time. No, I'm here for you, man. Yeah. I'm here for you, yeah. So kind of like, you know, Henry G. <laughs> Basically. Jax is going to smoke. He might push in front of that. He wants to try and fade. Oh, he doesn't get touched by the Molotov. Okay, so Long's now G2s. He can just sit there and relax. Remember, we saw Neo in this position. He, he was getting almost bullied in that spot a couple of times with the CT pushes from Valdi yesterday. So yep. we'll see if there's a similar storyline there. They've left Long open and this phase, one of their main vulnerabilities on Dust2 is the flanks. They don't seem to have the timings quite down when CTs can come behind them. Luckily, it's absolutely okay. Jack's not as aggressive as Norfolk yesterday, so they are going to get their full execution with five players here. This is when they can actually cause a lot of trouble. The path has to be made towards the A side. Rain normally drops down, which he will. And now his objective is to take the AWPA. Kenny's already managed to find just enough for Neo. 
And he's getting away with it, getting away with murder. Repositions, he wants to catch them on the cross to site there. Here comes Guardian, Ooh. and he takes him as well. Guardian, gone. Rain in the smoke. They are going to be trying to get that bomb down. Kenny's just have the lineup in his head. Shocks pressured from CT, but he does thrive with the UMP. He's even going to get Rain. They're making it work. They're making it work oh so well. Phase, that's the most execution, that's the most rigid we've seen them, and it's not rewarded. It's Phase who we know have those executions. The reason we don't see them too often is for the, the, the kind of reasons I stated before, that their vulnerabilities to the flank. They don't usually have a default, sure. they keep all five players up. This time they had everything they needed, full execution, but Kenny standing on the car, he still had vision. He dodges the flashbang well, and his job in that position, get one kill, stay alive. Rain drops down, there's a smoke there as well. He can't do anything with it. So on the car, you can still see above. That's a great shot, that is not easy by any stretch. And then Guardian, he knows he has a challenge. He needs to get something in their favor. Kenny starting to come online now on the CT yeah, side yeah. of Dust 2. It's gonna be the timeout, Alex, with maximum loss bonus, I think. Uh, not quite, we're one away. As we'll see, there's still cash there for phase. We're going to get 4K on Nico. Similar story for Neo, but it's Guardian and all of Mice a little bit low. They might want to take the partial here and uh, aim towards short, trying to get another plant down. But uh, who knows what's going to happen. Fun fact for you, the CT setup we just saw from G2, the phase executed into, yep. was phases. You know, that phase three men on B, one's watching mid from B, one deep long, and then Nico's that flex player sure. towards car. Kenny was doing... Nico's role in that one and received it perfectly. Yeah, it's just because you, on your on that car, like you could be wall bangs. Yep. You, if you miss that shot, you're going to die. It's, a, it's an all-in position. But if you're hitting your shots, it's wonderful. Double ops back out from the CTs, which is fine. However, there are some deagles that can swing around close corners. It's positioning now. Well, the position they've chose is long. Jax, is he going to try rinse and repeat? I like this. this before. Yeah, you're suggesting we just want you to stay away from this. You drop the smoke to kind of bait them to come through. They feel like that room's going to be safe. It's definitely not, though. It's an absolute bloodbath in there. Jax, that's a really intelligent little play. A nice trick for you guys to try at home. Drop the smoke. They feel like they're going to have some room to move in there. Yeah. You just sneak through as it blooms, and you're ready for two quick thinking frags. Yeah, Jax isn't stopping there as well. Long on lock. And just to know as well, it's the backup with the incendiary in front of it that really enables him to do that. Yeah. Going for a smoke generally isn't advised, but if you set it up in that manner, very strong play. And there's enough space just on the back of that molly for you to take your position. So this round should be the seventh then for G2. Let's get a deagle into the hands of Olof, but Jaxi's going to add a fourth. I'm liking what Jax is bringing to the table yeah, today. man. Four kills in this round. Sure, I know it's against pistols, but... Young players like him, it really boosts your confidence. You're on the stage now. This is a huge game. You're up against some of the most prestigious names in Counter-Strike history. And he's performing. He's not scared of them. He's not rattled. He's pushing into those tight choke points on the CT side. Alex, if he goes down to a deagle, that, that costs him the round. But he wants to get in there. He wants to get them stuck in because now going forward, they're going to have to use more grenades. Yeah. They're going to be more aware of that position and that potential. It really is. It's, it's, it's a mental game as well as, of course, a game of precision, a game of physicality. It's... It's not letting that get into your head. This is phase time. I could go home. I'm in France. Maybe there's some family in attendance. Just ignore all of that. It's just the game. It's just the round. Jack's certainly doing it here and does too. So it's going to be a G2 timeout, I believe. And this is good because they know when phase, when they have their backs to the wall, we talked about this yesterday, yeah. when the defaults aren't working and their executions go wrong, where do they go? They go for fast mid play. They said Nico. Long spawns, right. out middle. They let him just go for absolutely everything. I feel like G2 will be calling for a very either passive setup here or just trying to pick towards middle to shut that down. They might even just send someone to go towards lower B, do something like that. They know Nico is going to be dangerous this round. You can feel it coming. Watch out for him because he knows he has to step up here. And as we get into he's gone down towards the drop down position as well. This could be the play I just described. I hope it is because it's exciting. When they're in trouble, this go. is what happens. Nico is pulling out his trap card and it's gone. See, they were ready for it. They were set up for that. They called it. That's they what the time was for. coming. You nailed it. And now another round slips away from FaZe Clan. Holding down W will only get you so far. Shocks. Just knew it was coming. It, it, it was. G2 calling that timeout, by the way. It wasn't like FaZe showed their hand. No, no. They want, it, it might be so next level that you call the timeout, so they start trying to think, what can we do as well? Oh, Get I them imagine. disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> and and okay. Say, hey, hey, have 30 seconds. Have what, gone, are you guys, do? You, what are you going to do? What do you normally do when things go wrong? Have Rush a think about mid, it. Maybe? We'll set you up for it. That's like, it's incredible uh, to see G2 respond in that way. This is looking like a team that's actually, it's worth its organization. They haven't been for the last two years. They haven't been performing. The lineups look weak. But this is looking strong now. This is like 
The homework's been done. The players make yeah. sense. The roles are all there. And the big names are performing. Speaking of big names, Guardian and Rain. The last two for FaZe Clan with 45 seconds on the clock. It's just uh, it's a harrowing tale of patience and prayer. Kenny is going to be the one to receive anyone, any funny business on short. And there's the flash, perfectly timed. He had no time to react to that one. That's going to give him space and a second as well. Great use of utility from FaZe Clan to at least get that bomb down. Brain's even done more than that. He's got a frag and Jax doesn't matter if it's long or if it's on the site himself. He does damage and converts. So that's going to be the eighth now for G2. The French are poised for double digits. So, like I said, that it was the predictable play from FaZe. Yep. Normally it works out for them. Even when you know it's coming, Nico kills two. Right. The fact it hasn't worked... That really doesn't look good at all because just, now what do they what do they go to? Just want to clarify when you say that uh, you know Nico this is Nico's contingency it's not working. If that's his plan, well, how does it normally work? Is it just because it catches them off guard? No because one's expecting a body no there. No one's as good as Nico. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, that's the answer. That, yeah. that, like he goes with a play that gives him a one on one duel you don't expect, but he's going to hit the shot no one else can. Sure. Um, that's why it works so effectively. But if they know how to position themselves correctly, they can counter it, like they did. They've confirmed they're against the Deagles now. Kenny, uh, he'll be tagged up a little bit, but gets that first kill. And against pistols, you don't want to have anything to do with this. That's one of the most difficult angles to challenge on a CT side is this one right here. You do not want to check towards shore. You could have even three members looking at you. Let them have middle if you want to. You know they have pistols. Crossfires on bomb sites now. Hold on to utility for full commitments. That's exactly what they're doing. This is looking lovely. Player on Goose, player on Crossover, Kenny to get the first shot, Jax to slow them down with Sendry. That's what they need. The yeah. longest angles you could find while holding short. Kenny's going to miss a couple of shots. That's fine, though. Watch out for Jax. He's got the incendiary. That should be fine. And Jax, yep. He's going to be checked by Nico, but should be able to line them up, and he does exactly that. One, two, three. Un, deux, trois. It's nine. Really nice setup. G2 are playing a great game here. FaZe, remember... They managed to win the full eco in the second round. They lost the pistol. That's fair. But then they got three rounds on the back of a full eco here. They have five in total. Their gun rounds have not looked compelling enough. But their CT side is a brick wall. I would say five is enough still. It's just the way they were, the, the way these rounds have gone down, it's not exciting me so far. They, we haven't seen fireworks from Nico just yet. Certainly haven't. I mean, one of those five was with the Glocks. This is the face story. Yeah. One of those rounds was with a Deagle. You know, we talk, we say, we find ourselves saying that an awful lot. And now it does look like a bit of a different page is being read by FaZe for their final round of their attacking half. Just to know again, we talked about Guardian on train. We said Dust 2's got to be better. It's round 15. He has six kills. I'm going to say maybe, what, two or three of those with the AWP? It's not online today. It's not there for them. Yeah. This is quarterfinals. He's got to step up now. Well, that's perhaps a conversation they can have in one minute and 17 seconds. Kenny, on the other hand, 12. And he, he's already had his strong performance on train. They're looking for double digits here. What a pick that is. He knows the potential of the repeat, but Rain thinks better of and he's got back in position. Oh, he could get another. Oh, it's a quick flick. It's a hard shot to hit. Backs away. Keeps that presence on short. Keeps them paranoid. Olaf trying to fight Lucky through the door. It's rather equal so far and remains that just by the skin of his teeth. 15 HP left for Lucky. It's finished off by Rain. Dives into CT. Where are they going with this? The bomb's towards tunnels. It is going to be on towards Amanek. Molly to try and clear him out. If that doesn't touch him, he's got a shot. He does have the AWP. This is going to be really difficult. Bullets from all directions. They needed something like this to go in their favor. They lost the first two picks again, but out of nowhere, a couple of kills. The B side was exposed. Like he said, Amanek, he had the AWP at the very back, but luckily for G2, they have resources here. They have boatloads of cash here, Alex. Even if they don't win a couple of kills or keep phase on a firm leash here as they push through jack's doing decent damage he might even consider pushing that as he holds for his teammate here flashbang goes in they're both towards the tunnels and kenny has taking damage he was hoping to get the pick not going to happen guardian that's a very easy shot by his standards going to find a bit of confidence there and the last round it goes nine six a labored half though from phase as we mentioned a full eco to actually get them into it three rounds off the back of that but the gun rounds were slow g2 in a fantastic position to close this one out two zero but phase will build the wall in the second half let me tell you we'll see you after the break
Second map of our first quarter final in Montpellier. Season nine finals of the ESL Pro League. It's in the second half of Dust 2. FaZe chose to take it here and G2 come into their T side with quite a convincing lead. 9-6 on the half-arm machine. He's Henry and we're jumping into the pistol. We absolutely are. I can see the buyers coming through. Two smokes, couple of flashbangs and P250s. Now G2 historically do like to go towards long. That's where they'll finish and usually get the bomb down with the two smokes of the crossover. But they've gone into a default stance for now and I prefer that. You want to fill the map out first for the same reasons we saw FaZe fumble in the beginning. Yep. They wanted to go long but they left T-spawn vulnerable. They got pen from the tunnels because they didn't have any information. This is classic style now. Default, waiting for aggression, like this. Lucky hasn't gone down, and now we can push the CTs back and make sure they don't get any key in somewhere. Interestingly enough, while Lucky's keeping those CTs busy, the rest of G2 do start to gather up short. So 3-2 split will be held on car by the CTs, and so the charge begins. Neo is the one to receive that's here. That's missed. a smoke. That's not a good smoke. There's oh, the no. second to make up for it. Maybe for the cross. Gives them a bit of a safe haven on this cross there. Back it away. Sure. That could be an interesting could idea. Could be. We'll talk about it later because now bomb should be going down and there's not a single body hitting the deck. 48 seconds as it goes down. Didn't take them that long. This is an interesting one. Lucky has stuck around on long and they have to be worried about that. Three members there, they have to focus on the site, but there is still this dank flank as well. Yeah, this is looking very good for Lucky here. He times as well. He has the Glock, does deliver, and there's going to be Kenny S and CT spawn as well. They're just mowing these phase players down, but Rain, he's been quiet this tournament, but he has to be louder than ever at this point. Oh, oh that's not bad. Another one on the table as well. We'll see if he can get a defuse attempt there, but it's going to be Guardian getting off the bomb. The P2000 has to deliver. There Rain's is a defuse kit. There Rain's is a defuse kit. He can do it, but it's not going to happen. Happened. Shoxi will deny everything there. G2 have just torn phase limb from limb in that round. They couldn't have done a better job. So just to talk about that smoke towards the CD spawn area, I'm thinking they smoke CD spawn and they drop one on the CD box as well to stop jump shots. And I think it might block vision from the car as well for headshots, that tiny little angle. I think that's what it's for. It's the first time I've seen it. I'm not 100% sure. If it the did look like a failed smoke initially. And then you looked at it on the cross, it kind of looked I'm, like it blocked them. It could be if someone who... Uh, Maybe as a pro watching, let me know on Twitter. Yeah, that's that, the thing. That would be cool. That would be really cool, but this could be even cooler. Guardian tested on B. It's all on to Wallop with his Deagle. He has to be precise, and he's quite the opposite. Two bullets to the belly. Doesn't shut down Lucky and shocked. He's just a robot. Walks in. Two quick clicks of his AK, and they've got themselves around. They've got themselves a plant. They've got themselves 11 6, Henry. This is starting to look scary. Baze coming into this half, and they're going to have such a mountain to overcome once they get weapons in their hands. They force war here. They're going to be 11-6 down. They're going to have news. to give up the next round as well. 
Neo has a Kevlar P250, hoping to steal what, an SMG away? That's as good as it's going to get. Uh, this couldn't be better for G2 at this point. They're playing a very clinical game of Dust2. They, they've been doing the theory here. They, every tournament, they seem to look a bit stronger each time, plugging holes and fixing mistakes they've made before. And uh, the skill seems to be getting better and better. It's ever since Amanek joined the roster for me. That's when they've looked really convincing. He's the secondary AWPer on Dust2. He's seen to do a great job already. He's on the T side now. Mac 10 in hand and goes down to Neo, but the kill is found. It's not necessarily required, but still takes away his armor. It makes things pretty much guaranteed round number 18 here. They'll have nothing. They can't really invest much more then a couple more P250s, but whether they even do that, I'm not so sure. One there smoke is. for Nico, and that will be for the mid doors, Alex. Just to kind of suggest maybe we're not stacking B. Maybe. That was a great connection onto Nico in the round prior. Sharks walked into that site with no fear, and we're back live. Let's not forget this was FaZe's map pick. This is the map they wanted to play. This is the map they thought they had the best shot on and could potentially concede. Shout out to Stewie2K in the DMs. It is a thing. That smoke does block vision from car. Nice. First time I've seen okay, it. Cool. Pretty cool. Thank you very much. Just the nade on Guardian. There's two Mac 10s in play as well. G2, they could really just build the bank for the rest of this half here to start taking those freebies. The stack in CT with the CTs. Let's have a look. Are they going to push? A flash. Yes. Shocks. Needs to be cautious about this one. That's an AK lying on the ground. His team are going to fortunately keep, keep things clean. And we've got ourselves 12. G2. Done their homework. And passing with flying colors by the looks of things. They're bringing new smokes out. Good coordination. Great discipline so far, and it couldn't be a better start on the second half. 3-0 up. That bonus situation, Alex. We've talked about this a lot throughout, but they've upgraded one of the SMGs to an AWP. They'll keep Jackson the MAC-10. Two players are helmets. Make it three. This is the chance to really go for the haymaker punch, and we'll see if they can do it. Round 19, Jackson with a decent long spawn. Flashes out. Smokes in the corner. Chad talked about this presence from G2, how they like to exploit this position. Now, Molotov to stop any CTs going towards that pit. Fast A split coming through. Nico had to connect. He hits the shot but doesn't get the frag. Rain, he's in trouble uh -oh. now. Grenade in hand, but same story on the T side. It's scrappy on both ends. No one going down just yet. Who will blink first? I'm not sure. Olaf Meister trying to get any information he can. I don't think there's much indication as to where they're heading at this point. Certainly not. The two defenders of B are standing vigilant. It's uh, a question of what information they can gather. Back towards long rain returns, as does G2. Jack's first in with the Mac-10. He can be bounding around if he wants to. He's right on that corner. Kenny's going to take the long fight, and Nico's going to be walking straight in. Here it comes. It's a heavyweight match, but Kenny throws the knockout blow. Reigns for two. No, not the Mac-10 of Jax. He was waiting for so long. The Mac-10's not going to work there, though. Neo needs more. Tagged up Lucky. Oh, he's in so, so, so much trouble. Amanek 16. Lucky won. Shocks, he's the only one that could have any sort of health, but that doesn't stop Amanek connecting with the orb. This is now a two versus one. AWP could be enough to win the round. He does need to find the first kill first. Bowman is back, HE available. Olaf and Guardian, though, both looking very alive and well. Bomb will be planted. It's not a long plan. He'll have to just fight two for nail on the bomb site. Do the CD stick together or try and split him from long and short? It's the latter. So Amanet needs to try and isolate one of these players. He has a shot though, crawling. He could find Olaf. No, just on the left side. It's not enough. That will be an AWP to retrieve, a double AWP for the future and a defuse to keep FaZe in it. Seven for the international roster. Wow, they've, they've got a big, big, big mountain to climb here. That's a scary one still, because as we said, you're going into that round with, with Mac 10s, right? Yes, you did upgrade to an AWP, but there's plenty of money to keep going forward. FaZe do not have foundations laid yet. Two players survive. Yes, they recover a double orb setup, but overall, they lose this round a 13-7 down. Money's right back down there. Need to be very careful here. Guardian and Nico is a scary prospect, but... We need to see more from Guardian on this CT side. Really want him to deliver. He is the master of this map. He knows he can perform with huge numbers as he gets that AWP in his hands now. Kenny S looking for damage as they cross. Nothing spotted, but 
He will take the shot regardless. Lucky once again focusing towards long. Flashbangs from his teammates. You can see that system time and time again. It's stifling to the CTs. They can't cross oh, over. Wow. And we've got four players, Alex, heading towards short. They have not been dissuaded from this position. And here comes the MAC-10. Nico to strike first. It's so quick. Amanek deep into CT. Lucky that long rush is paying dividends. Another what? headshot. Rain's gone, Neo's got paranoia, he has to worry about Long. Does pick up the Molotov, does pick up the Yorg, his shopping has bore fruit, but now three versus three, the bomb yet to commit, they can back away from this one. Oh. Amanek's position in CT, oh. he's been there for so long, avoids the flash, the MAC-10's not good. Olof's better. So now the numbers do favor the defensive side. Bomb in the hands of Kenny, that Molotov's not gonna land, the smoke was there. Neo would have gone down for sure. If he throws a Molotov a second later, he gets the kill! Oh! What the hell is that for Kenny X? He's back! <laughs> And Guardian has nothing to do about this. He's stuck in CT's oh, court. If he gets the jumping shot, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> he has so much work to do here. And we've got a kit, an AWP. The first shot won't connect, but Kenny S certainly did. That was absolutely got here. How did he get the second? The first, sure, it's Kenny S. The second, so quick. I can barely process. He spotted him. Connects and finds 13 for G2. They're closing in on match point. Take a look at this one. Quickest flick onto Olof, but this second shot, so ready for it. Just another day in the park for Kenny. Oh my God. I'm lost for words, Alex. That, oh my that's God. That's why it does too. With Guardian and Kenny S on the server, it's some of the most entertaining eSport you can yeah. ever watch in your entire life. Yeah, take the G. He's take smiling. the timeout, man. Let's, suck in. Let's get in there. Let's get stuck in. Um, I mean, we all know where that timeout's come from. Yep. Kenny's smiling. And now it's a chance for them to reflect. A bit of moment of meditation. Coach Malek, of course, can step in. And it's perhaps even a conversation of where do we go from here? You're staring down the barrel of 13. Inferno in the wings if we need it, but FaZe, they can't quite get there. The buy's awkward here. Is that what the conversation's about? Just swallow our pride, except 14? It's, it's the age-old conversation, Alex. So do we force buy and essentially go for it? Try and deny everything? Or well, we take the eco and allow them to get one step closer to knocking us out of the tournament. Neither option is good. They've taken uh, the more conservative approach. They can win these rounds if they can get this one. There's a real conversation of the comeback here. Needs a quick one deep from Ray. Not going to happen. Faye starting to fall apart here. Deagle recovered, though, towards Shaw. It's Neo. He's been playing very well today. He's had so many tests sent his in direction. Remember, the B bomb side of train, almost every round having to get three kills. A bomb site, every single bit of utility being thrown in his direction. He's done what he can today. 13-7 down. They have one HE and a five on four. G2 cannot afford to give this round up. It is theirs to lose. Has Amanek set up a little trap with that bomb? in tons he's like it's dropped it's loose he's just sitting there with a mac 10 just doesn't want to necessarily get caught on his walkabouts with it does retrieve it once again no aggression from the cts into tons neo oh nico shows up it's a nico deagle it's always a threat shocks with the ak just as much so quick with that finds two and nico despite his best efforts i think he's gonna have to accept this round's gone Very quick, too. This is the problem when you've got so many big names in the server, you can't catch all the action. Shops has done <laughs> something ridiculous, but so has Nico. There's a lot going on, a lot of moving parts here, that's for sure. Nico still has a chance to win this. If you're not aware of how good this kid okay. is, just wait for it. We call him the Bulgarian bulldozer. He does not Bulgarian, the not Bosnian <laughs> bulldozer. That's the wrong way. No, that's Sirk. <laughs> that we is have, Sirk we call him. We have them right. too. We have them too. Lots of bulldozers. All the bulldozers. This one's Bosnian. But it's not going to be, oh, I thought it was going to be taken out of the round just then. Not going to happen. It's just the impossible task. Shox is going to challenge, and, well, that's the third for him. Fourth, excuse me, a huge round from Shox. Admittedly, against that uh, awkward phase by, but it secures 14, and it does so neatly. Phase, they've done it with Glocks. Even in this map alone, you really have to respect every single round versus Phase, and that's exactly what Shoxi just did. 14 then to 7. Well, this is where the Eco has led them to. It's not even Guardian on the AWP here. Has Nico that's got sure. the best spawn? He actually hasn't. Maybe Guardians has been rattled too much on the orb. Nico's going to challenge T spawn right here. He's actually going to go for it. 
Wait for it. Waiting for his chance. No, doesn't. Okay, he What's was lining that? that up. I, I don't know whether he's waiting for a sound cue Change or anything towards plan. lower just to see whether he could get that first pick, but not going to happen. And it's going to be Shoxi now up against Nico. Here's the smoke towards long doors to allow him to peek around the corner if he wants to. Three players with G2 out. Oh, this is a tough fight. Neo's there. Oh, he can't trade it. He hit both. He hit Nico as well after killing oh, Nico. No way. A collateral from Kenny. Nico is bleeding. Down to just 16. And the responsibility of A Long is his. Kenny, that damage could come back to haunt FaZe Clan. And right now it Damn. does. The flash. Nico completely exposed. So a FaZe Clan, to be honest. 14. This is likely to be the 15th, unless the heroics of these remaining three can arrive on the scene. Rain, oh, just the tippy top of his head from Amanek. We've got Rain, who's considered one of the best short players in the entirety of Dust2. He is a god at this position. They're going to need him to deliver here, but it's long is where G2 are focusing. Guardian, remember, didn't even want the orb this round. It was Nico that was given the responsibility. A desperate spray for the smoke. Could have cost him his life. Looking for series point here. G2. With time remaining, 30 seconds, they have a player towards middle. That's going to be Amanek, who will go for the backstab once his team fully commits. They want to cause chaos first. They want to suggest the final commitment, and he'll come in towards CT spawn just as they take contact. If they make this awkward, if they can find two here, Guardian, you control your own destiny. You control your fate. The flashes, the nades, they're freaking him out. The spray's through. He's fully blind. Amanek on the flank finds Olof. This looks like 15, nine seconds. It's a safe plant. No nades to question it, and it's over. 15 G2 Esports are poised for a semi-final. And FaZe, they can't find the resistance. They can't find the fights. This is all they have for their last stand. Scouts, Deagles, MP9s, the French on home soil set aim for the semi. This has been a wonderful performance. And this is how it should be. You've got Shoxi, 24 kills at the very top. Kenny S, 21. Everyone's been saying this the last year and a half. Where have these two players gone? Why are they not leading the way? They were the most celebrated French names probably of the entire history of CSGO, and they've dropped off dramatically. This has been an incredible performance on the big stage. Quarterfinals against FaZe on their map pick, and they're schooling them right now. One more round will do it on their T side. Scouts, MP9s for masses. There's barely anything to work with here, Alex. But FaZe need to try and make it work. A Scout, MP9 crossfire along. Shoxi aggressive towards middle, taken down of the Deagle of Rain. you got to remember FaZe in their Desert Eagles. Nico, some aggression from Long. Actually, he doesn't go down. Just enough evasive maneuvers. He's only got a Scout. It's unlikely he does too much more. Rain, however, has found a second. Now Neo chimes in. Match point. They've got hundreds of them, it feels, but this one perhaps going to slip away. Just Kenny and Amanek. If ever there was a chance to close it out, that was it. But now, though, five on two. Amanek makes his way through towards the B side. He's just going to try and get, get out, out of the, the corner. Smoke. Yeah, he does. It could be enough, you know. He gets his two kills on B. The rotations alone will be enough. There it is. The second was there, Alex. If he gets that, Kenny has a chance to fall back and go farm B. There was actually a real strong case to be made there. Doesn't happen. And FaZe keep their head above water for now. 15-8, seven rounds in a row required just for overtime. Nico's going to be kicking himself. If he was just a little closer when he connected onto Kenny, they'd have been able to bring an AWP into this round. Unable to do so. He had the scout. He was running straight towards Kenny's corpse, but just, just shy. A couple of meters. So sacrifices will be made as FaZe once again look to stand the test of G2. They can do this. If ever there was a team of tenacity, it would be yeah. for FaZe Clan. They don't have the AWP here, and I think that's fine. Sometimes you've got to admit it's not working out for you. Guardian normally so good in that B-bombs at the Orb, but it just hasn't been working out for him today. Focusing on a more forgiving weapon, the Orc. But the B-play, the final finish potentially here from G2. Starting to charge, flash in. Olof's going to be on the corner. He does only get the one, but the French are in. Wide open sight. Bomb goes down. It's notoriously difficult to retake. Phase, your days are numbered. Shox is even there for the mid-rotate. Rain, you can fire off all the shots you want. He won't show unless he needs to. There is a flank coming up, and he's so cognizant of it. Oh, he's so ready. Not 
not going to find Neo. He doesn't normally miss those. The pressure getting to him somewhat, Alex. Three versus three. One kid available. Smoke for they the tunnels. Money. And it's coming in. This is going to work for FaZe here. They need to find these kills. Jax miss. And Rain gets him. Lucky he's low on the bricks. He needs more than one. Kenny's already connected. It's oh, looking good for DJ. Oh, They're so no. And 1v1 is Lucky. Three in the round. It's 16 in total. G2.